So quick Giants update here. According to Mike Garofolo, it seems like the Giants are going to sign former Falcons running back Devonta Freeman, who's been a free agent for basically a long time. He didn't sign anywhere in the offseason. Still out there. Decides to go with the Giants as long as he passes his physical. We've seen this one before with uh, Ross Cockrell. Hopefully this one goes through. Um, a lot of people have high expectations for a guy like Freeman. I'm not one of them. I mean, I'm a guy that watches a lot of Falcons game because they're always on red zone. I live in the same house as a Falcons fan. My brother roots for them. So I've watched the Falcons closely. And Devonta Freeman in the past, I would say, two and a half years or so has not looked the same. Now, I, I know people expect Freeman to be that guy that he was back, and I'm trying to look now, 2015, where he, he basically stepped in as a starter and had over 1,500 total yards. And then in 2016, he was amazing as well. Let me look at the numbers real quick. Had over 1,000 yards once again, over 450 receiving yards. So he's not that guy anymore. I'm not expecting much from him personally, but for a team like the Giants who, believe me, they can use all the help they can get at running back, you know, basically – their best running back is gone. They have Wayne Gallman, who's all right. They have Deion Lewis, who's more of a third down back, not really a, a three down back type of build. Bring in Devonta Freeman. They'll use him on early downs. I personally feel that they'll kind of mix him and, and Wayne Gallman in there on early downs, first and second downs. They'll play the hot hand. Not sure which guy between him and Gallman will get the goal line opportunities, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure if Freeman's going to play this week. He might have to learn the playbook and things like that. But if he does play this week and has a role it would not shock me i'm just saying temper your expectations i don't think freeman's gonna be that great if a guy like a talent if a guy like a talent of saquon barkley can't run well behind this offensive line then i don't expect much from devonta freeman now last year freeman in 2019 had 184 carries 656 yards that's 3.6 yards per carry he's got like rashad jennings written all over it uh in the receiving game he had 59 receptions on 70 targets which is pretty good 410 receiving yards and four receiving touchdowns so we got in the end zone six times i mean look he's average he's not gonna be anything great but what i'm saying is he's not gonna be that like all pro that he once was at one well, i don't even know if he was an all pro pro bowler at one point in his career so definitely temper expectations there but for the Giants, not a bad signing. It's just not one I'm super excited about. I would rather have taken a shot on like an undrafted free agent type of guy. I don't know how old Freeman is. I'll try and look it up real quick for you guys. Freeman is, he was born in 92, so if Matt's correct. He can't be that old, 92. No, that can't be that old at all. So Devonta Freeman, what is that, 28? 28 years old, yeah. So he's not that old, but he moves like he's old. So, I mean, look, I'm not expecting too much. If he goes out and balls out for the Giants, that's amazing. But I'm just saying I'm definitely not – I don't have the highest expectations for the guy. But nice signing by them. They definitely needed bodies, and Devonta Freeman was probably the best guy on the market. My Marshawn Lynn streams are dead. That's not going to happen. Royce Freeman, not going to happen. But Devonta Freeman's good enough. So hopefully he does well for the Giants. Um, I still want him to give uh, Wayne Gallman an opportunity to be the guy. Deion Lewis has his role, as we know. But um, I'm sure Freeman will get in there at some points and he'll have a chance to impress. But I guess we'll see what happens. But uh, let me know in the comments if you like the signing. I feel like you can't hate it. I'm just saying I'm not expecting too much. But it's, you know, it's probably a one-year deal. So you really can't hate this move too much. I feel like a lot of people would be excited about it. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys next time.